Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have missed you guys so much. I feel like it has been so long since I've had some one-on-one -on -one girl time, so I am definitely craving it. Today's video is gonna be all about my monthly favorites. I know this is a little later in the month than we are used to, but I figured better late than never. As always, I will make sure to link everything down below in the info box. I'd also love to know how have you guys been over the last month or so. If you've been following me on Instagram and stuff, you know that I just kind of took some time off to be with the family over the holidays, and I am just now slowly getting back to my routine. I don't know about you guys, but I crave routine. I am a type A personality. I like a schedule. I like lists. I like just kind of knowing what to expect and kind of planning out my day, planning out my week. But let's go ahead and get started with this month's favorites. As always, like I said, everything will be linked down below. I've got a ton of goodies to share with you. If you follow me on Instagram and watch my Instagram stories, you know that I shared these like makeup skincare headbands with you guys. I love them. They are a beauty must have. So whether you wear these in the morning while you're applying your makeup so you don't get it all over your hair, or you use them at night when you're doing your skincare and removing your makeup, these are perfect. So I actually have two different ones to share with you guys. These actually come by themselves. It's a single, this this one right here, it's really, really cute with that kind of like leopard animal print. It's $6.99 for one. And this is a four pack and you get four of these. There's different colors to choose from. I went for like the nudie blush colors. Love them, the colors are super cute and you get a four pack for $15. So like I said, four for 15 or one for $6.99. They both do the same job, I will say. This one doesn't stretch out as much, but it's super, super comfortable on, and this one is super, super, super stretchy and soft. I like them both. I'll link them down below. It's just this one's a better savings, but this one, you know, they both get the job done. I just really, really high, highly recommend these and just wanted to share both of them with you. Next up, I wanted to share these two contour brushes with you guys. If you have been following me for a while and watched any of my Get Ready With Me videos, you know that contouring is my favorite. I love, love, love the contour step of makeup. So I like having brushes that are specifically made for contour. This is going to be more for cream products. I bought this one specifically for my cream contour and this one's going to be for powder contour. You can actually buy this one in natural or synthetic brushes and then this one is of course synthetic. I really really do like them both. I will say if you only get one I would go for this one because this one is a lot more affordable than this one. I think the synthetic one is $40 and the natural bristle is $55 and this this one was I think $19 or $16, something like that. Super, super affordable. They both get the job done. I will say I do use them both. I love, love, love this one for cream product. Sticking to the beauty favorites for the month, I just had to share that I fell back in love with this lip sleeping mask. I actually ran out of this a few months ago, several months ago, and I had a ton of other lip products and I just wanted to try some other brands. And I just never ended up finding one that I love. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and buy that oldie goodie one and just kind of see if it's really that much better and it is you guys this lip sleeping mask is amazing now you can actually use it as just like a lip gloss or a lip balm during the day but it's especially amazing and incredible if you put it on right before you go to bed because you wake up with just the softest smoothest lips it's seriously so 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 good and you get a ton you get a ton like this is gonna last forever like six months really 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 long time highly recommend this this is my favorite favorite lip balm for putting on right before I go to bed speaking of hydration I just have to mention this body cream again because I am still so obsessed with this body cream so if you guys have been following me for a while you know how much I loved the La Mer body cream which I still do really really like but that is a major splurge you guys it really really is and I was on the hunt for something just as good but was a lot more affordable and I found it like this product this body cream is seriously amazing here let me let me rub this in a little bit let me Hold on. Now, obviously the formula is gonna be different than the La Mer. The La Mer is a little bit thicker and emollient, but this one actually soaks into the skin a lot better in my opinion. The biggest difference between the La Mer versus this one is gonna be the scent. So the scent of La Mer is just a signature La Mer scent, whereas this one is a little bit more perfumey. It's a little bit more floral. 
However, with that said, is it overpowering? Absolutely not. It's a really nice, nice, beautiful scent, and I've actually grown to love it. In the beginning, I liked it. Now, I actually love it, and it just feels so, so good on the skin. I actually put this all over my entire body after I get out of the shower, and then I'll usually, if I didn't take a shower before I go to bed, I have a jar in my nightstand, and I will apply it all over my legs, all over my arms, right before I go to bed. It's just been so amazing for my skin. I, I, I just love it. I highly recommend it. I definitely recommend this and it is worth the splurge even at 45 bucks. I know that's a fraction of the price for the versus the La Mer, but 45 bucks is still a splurge for a body cream and I, I just love this one and I, I highly recommend you get it. I also think it makes a really good gift if you're looking to get something a little special and different for somebody. I love, love, love this one. I get asked all the time about hair products that I recommend. Y'all know how much I love taking care of my hair. This product by Olaplex, this is my third or fourth um, like bottle of it. I really, really do love this. This is $28 for 3.3 ounces. I know that is a lot. You're only going to get about four to six treatments of this, depending on the thickness and the length of your hair. But this is a lifesaver when it comes to damaged hair, especially. Now, here's the thing. I don't color my hair, so I don't have color damage or bleaching damage or any of that. However, I still have heat style damage, right? From a blow dryer or a straightener, things like that. But you also have environmental damage from the sun and just you know UV rays and pollution and all that stuff even if you have like virgin hair that has never been colored or treated or anything like that you still have damage to your hair this is still a product that is going to make a difference in the health of your hair now obviously if your hair is more damaged it can do a little bit more but just in general I recommend this product it's just such an amazing product you only need it about once a week I do it once a week sometimes twice a week if I'm just not really paying attention and I might accidentally do it more than once a week, but once a week is completely fine. You almost treat it like a mask. Now, it's not a mask in the sense that it's going to be like a hydrating mask or anything like that, but you do apply it like a mask. You do just like your hair is like towel, dried but it's still wet you'll put this all over from root to tip you'll let it sit for anywhere from 10 minutes you can even let it sit for overnight if you want to but you do want to let this sit like i said it's not going to be like a hydrating mask or anything like that but it's doing its magic while it's on your hair you let it sit and then you just shampoo and condition like normal highly recommend this if you're looking for something that's going to repair damage give this a try speaking of hair and damage i know we've all got a ton of these in our you know, beauty cabinet or wherever it is that we keep our hair products. These hair ties are so bad for your hair. Now I know I've been using them for years, but I've also known for years that they are bad for your hair. So I try to do like a silk scrunchie or something like that when I'm home instead. However, you really can't avoid these, or at least I thought you couldn't avoid these if you are working out and you need a really, really tight ponytail. I would do two, sometimes three of these just to keep my hair out of my face when I'm working out. However, I found a much better alternative. Now, I know this just looks like a stretched out version of this, but it is not, you guys. It is a much better, stretchier, which means it's gonna be a lot more forgiving and a lot less stress and tension on your hair. I can just do one of these and it holds my hair really, really tight in a ponytail with a lot less stress, which is gonna result in a lot less damage and breakage to your hair. These come in a 15 pack, I believe a 15 pack, obviously super affordable. They're just hair ties. Don't buy these anymore. I am getting rid of all of these hair ties and replacing them with these. And I'm only using these for when I need a tight ponytail for like working out, doing cardio, things like that. Other than that, I'm doing velvet scrunchies, satin scrunchies, or silk scrunchies. If you guys want to know the scrunchies that I'm using, let me know. I'll try to link them down below for you guys. But if I forget, make sure to ask me in the comments and then I will make sure to add them. But get rid of these, please. These are so bad for your hair and buy these instead. And the last beauty product that I want to share with y'all is a perfume. Now I feel like I became a totally different person when it comes to perfume in 2020. I really explored and experienced with perfumes again and really fell in love with perfumes. I used to love perfumes many, many years ago and I had an entire collection of them. And several years ago, probably three or so years ago, I ended up getting rid of everything and I just had my all-time favorite Coco Mademoiselle perfume that became my signature scent and I wore that for a good 
two or three years and didn't add anything to my collection until I fell in love with the Jo Malone perfume. And then I had two, and then I added another Jo Malone, and then I fell in love with the Flower Bomb, and then I recently bought this again. Now, keep in mind, this was a perfume that I loved many, many years ago, and I always thought about it in the back of my head of buying it and ordering it, giving it a try again, and I decided to go ahead and order it to give it a try, and I just remembered how amazing amazing this perfume is and the perfume that I'm talking about is Chanel Chance. This stuff smells amazing like it is right up there with Coco Mademoiselle. It's right below just right below but it is up there with Coco Mademoiselle for me. This stuff smells amazing. It has that same signature bite of the Coco Mademoiselle. Now not in the same fragrances like the same scents and the same notes but that bite that you get from Coco Mademoiselle well it's just like intoxicating. That is what this scent gives me. I just love this stuff. It's very sultry. It's very sexy. It's a little bit more playful in my opinion than Coco Mademoiselle. To me, Coco Mademoiselle is so elegant and chic and feminine and just so bold and sultry. Whereas this one is a little bit more fun, sultry. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. I do really, really love this. If you love Coco Mademoiselle, you will love this one. I'll link it down below. This is the 3.4 ounce, I think. Yeah, this is the 3.4 ounce. And this is the Eau de Parfum. They do have the Eau de Toilette. So if you prefer a just lighter scent, you don't want that strong of a bite of a perfume, get the Eau de Toilette. I'll link them both down below, but I love this. I love this. I think I have, what, five? I think five or four. Four or five perfumes in my collection now. And I'm just so happy. I feel like I'm a totally different person when it comes to perfumes. I'm so glad that I'm kind of venturing out again and trying some new ones. So next up, I want to go into some fashion favorites for the last month or so. And I definitely have to recommend and share with y'all these sunglasses. So these have been a lifetime favorite of mine for a really long time. I've probably had these for maybe three or four years. I've had these for a really long time, but I have pulled them out so much over the last several weeks and I've gotten so many questions about them. Mine are the gold on gold. Like I said, I'll make sure to link them below per usual, but I really, really love these. If you're looking for an oversized aviator with a mirrored effect, I highly recommend these. These are probably one of my faves. If No, no, they're not one of my faves. These are my absolute faves, like oversized aviator in a mirrored lens. I love, love these. Aren't these just... They're so much fun. I just love these. I love these so, so, so much. And they're like 65 bucks. So super, super affordable. Next up, I have to share this beanie. I feel like every winter I have one standout beanie that I cannot stop wearing. I usually buy multiple, but there's always one that just is on repeat all season long. And this season, it is this one by far. Last time I checked, this was on sale for like $14 or something like that. It does come in a ton of other colors. I'll make sure to link this exact one down below but if you're looking for a slouchy beanie this one is super cute I'll pop on a picture of me wearing it so you can see how it actually fits it fits so good I'm really really picky when it comes to beanies I actually feel like my head doesn't look good in a lot of hats trust me it doesn't I'm just super picky at the, about the ones that I share with y'all if you notice I do wear hats but I don't have a ton of options and I usually wear the ones that I love over and over and over again. It's because I don't generally look good in hats. Same goes for beanies and this one is really, really flattering on my face. I have a really round face, I have kind of a big head and I don't know, it just, hats just don't always work for me. This one's a good one if you're looking for a beanie, don't want to break the bank, I highly recommend this one. Another cozy favorite for the month are these low top like slip on boots. I specifically bought these for just a grab and go shoe when it is cold outside. I tend to gravitate towards like flip flops or slides, but when it's cold, I need something a little bit more cozy and toasty for my toes. So if I'm just running to Starbucks or to Walmart or wherever it is, I'm running for a quick errand and I'm probably wearing sweatpants and a hoodie. This is what I'm going to reach for. I'm not saying you can't style these because you totally could style these if you want to, but that's not necessarily why I bought them. Will I style them? Of course I will. I own them. I love styling up different things, but I think these are a really good shoe to, like, like I said, for grab and go, or if you're going to check the mail or going to take the trash out, something like this is perfect to kind of grab on, you know, grab and go and walk out the door. These are not Uggs. These were like 55 bucks. I originally ordered a pair of Uggs but I didn't like all the fur on the outside. It just was a little too much 
for a grab and go. I found these, they were on sale for like 50 bucks, so I decided to order them. They do come in other colors, but I just went for like the classic chestnut color and I love them. And another boot favorite that I have been obsessed with this like fall and winter are these Chloe Susanna boots. So I don't know if you can see them. No, I think they're a little bit high. So I do have the black pair, which is like the classic Susanna boot that everybody knows of. I've had those for a while. I don't wear them a ton because you guys know I don't wear black that often. I do wear them every once in a while and I still love those boots, but I really wanted to get the boot in a more wearable color for me and my particular style. So I grabbed these. I don't, when did I grab these? I think I got these over the summer, maybe, maybe spring, but I know I got them in 2020. I have worn these way more than I've worn the black ones and I've had the black ones for two years, maybe three years. I love this color. I also love the fact that not everybody has this color. Everybody has the black ones and I think the black ones are great. They really are. I'm not saying not to get the black ones if you don't wear, if you wear a lot of black because I definitely recommend those as well. But I love the fact that these are just different. The color is stunning. It goes with everything. I can still wear them with black. I'll pop on a couple of pictures of me styling these, but I highly recommend them. And I did go true to size. So I have these in a 36 and a half. I'm typically a six and a half in basically everything. Love, love these. And they're really, really comfortable as well. I know they're a splurge, but if you are wanting to splurge on a pair of boots that are comfortable, something that you could even wear year round, because these are cute with like cut off shorts and stuff, I would go for these, love these. They totally make a statement. My next favorite of the month is this cozy coat. I love this coat and it was definitely one of my favorite purchases for the like fall and winter season. If you are looking for a good everyday coat that is not only cozy and comfortable, but cute and stylish, this coat is amazing. It comes in a ton of other colors. I think it's on sale right now. I cannot remember if I bought mine on sale, but I love it. I will pop on a couple of pictures of me wearing this so you can see what it actually looks like on. It does run true to size. You've got the faux fur hoodie. I don't think the hoodie can come off. No, it does not come off. You've got the, it's single breasted. It's not double breasted, so it's not gonna add any bulk or anything like that, but I highly, highly recommend this coat. It's got some really, really great details. I went for the camel just because I wanted something that I could wear every day with most of, you know, my the outfits that I style. I tend to gravitate towards neutrals like this. I think this coat is so perfect. It is a little bit of a splurge. I want to say it's I honestly I cannot remember but it's more expensive than typical it's not crazy expensive because coats can be super expensive but I just highly recommend this if you're looking for a good coat to invest in something that you can wear for many many years is gonna still be in style and really really do you know the job but still be super cute and stylish definitely check out this one so next up I want to share my most used bag of the month and it is definitely by far my newest YSL Nikki bag I am so glad that I got this bag in a second color. If you have been on the fence about purchasing the Nikki, I highly, highly recommend this bag. I now have it in two colors. I have it in a like camel brown tannish suede and then I have it in this nude leather. This color goes with everything you guys. I love the silhouette and the shape and the size of this bag. It's a really, really good everyday size. You've got this front pocket here, which is a really nice size. I can fit my phone, my keys, my like smaller card holder with my main cards and ID, and then all my bigger stuff can go in the back. You know, my wallet, my toiletry 19, stuff like that. And then you've got this pocket here that is actually usable. A lot of my bags have pockets in the back, but in my opinion, they're not really practical. This is a practical like pouch. It really is like you can totally put your phone right here You've got the magnetic closer, which is practical again. It's just such a practical bag now I will say I am gonna make sure to pay attention to this bag and make sure that I don't get any like denim transfer I think just in general when you are dealing with a softer leather bag, you do have to be more careful I don't think that that is a reason to not get the bag unless you just want something that is completely worry free I wouldn't consider this necessarily a worry free bag just because of the fact that the leather is that softer leather so I could potentially get some transfer on the backside and I'll just kind of keep an eye on it. It's probably not a bad idea to wipe this, you know, 
once a month or so or once every two weeks just depending on how often you wear this bag i could definitely see in time there being some transfer on the back here i also love the fact that the straps are that adjustable very similar to a chanel but in a more, more like casual way so you can wear it cross body this way or double it up i enjoy both and i love the fact that it's really easy to go from one or the other whenever you're actually carrying it i just cannot say enough good things about this bag it's amazing the size is amazing it's a great everyday size and it's just so beautiful but it's still casual and wearable and it doesn't feel like or look like a fussy bag in my opinion i also love that it's a little bit more understated so if i'm wearing a lot more print pattern or color on my actual outfit wearing a bag like this just works perfectly but yes if you've been on the hunt or been on the fence about getting the Nikki, I highly, highly recommend it. Like I said, I have two of them and I don't tend to do that. The last time that I bought multiples in one bag was many, many years ago and that was having the trifecta of the Speedies and the Neverfulls. And again, that was like, what, four years ago, five years ago. I haven't done that in years. And I also feel like it's a little different for Louis Vuitton and the trifecta, but when it comes to these kind of bags, I just don't do that. I don't buy multiple bags in different colors and I just had to when it came to this bag I just had to I love it that much so that is everything for this month's favorites as always like I said everything will be linked down below for you guys in the order that I shared it thank you guys so much for hanging out I have missed filming this kind of like a one-on-one -on -one girl time with you guys I've missed it I really really have I hope to be back to my schedule starting now and kind of getting back to the two or three videos a week for you guys hopefully I'll have a Friday a five minute Friday up this week as well but if you're new to my channel my name is Amanda it is so nice to meet you I hope you decide to stick around and hit that subscribe button and join my little YouTube fam before you head out make sure to check out one of these videos and I will see you guys in the next one talk to you soon bye bye